The 76th United States Congress was a meeting of the legislative branch of the United States federal government, composed of the United States Senate and the United States House of Representatives. It met in Washington, D.C. from January 3, 1939, to January 3, 1941, during the seventh and eighth years of Franklin D. Roosevelt's presidency. The apportionment of seats in the House of Representatives was based on the 15th Census of the United States in 1930. Both chambers had a Democratic majority. It is the most recent Congress to have held a third session. <laughs> Major events April 9, 1939, African-American singer Marian Anderson performs before 75,000 people at the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C., after having been denied the use both of Constitution Hall by the Daughters of the American Revolution, and of a public high school by the federally controlled District of Columbia. August 2, 1939, Albert Einstein wrote to President Franklin Roosevelt about developing the atomic bomb using uranium. This led to the creation of the Manhattan Project. September 5, 1939, World War II, the United States declares its neutrality in the war. November 4, 1939, World War II, President Roosevelt ordered the United States Customs Service to implement the Neutrality Act of 1939, allowing cash and carry purchases of weapons to non-belligerent nations. November 15, 1939, President Roosevelt laid the cornerstone of the Jefferson Memorial. April 1, 1940, April Fool's Day was also the census date for the 16th U.S. Census. May 16, 1940, World War II, President Roosevelt, addressed a joint session of Congress, asking for an extraordinary credit of approximately $900 million to finance construction of at least 50,000 airplanes per year. June 10, 1940, World War II, President Roosevelt denounced Italy's actions with his stab in the back. Speech during the graduation ceremonies of the University of Virginia. August 4, 1940, World War II, Gen. John J. Pershing, in a nationwide radio broadcast, urges all-out aid to Britain in order to defend the Americas, while Charles Lindbergh speaks to an isolationist rally at Soldier Field in Chicago. September, 1940, the Army's 45th Infantry Division, previously a National Guard division in Arizona, Colorado, New Mexico, and Oklahoma, was activated and ordered into federal service for one year, to engage in a training program in F.T. Sill and Louisiana, prior to serving in World War II. September 2, 1940, World War II, an agreement between America and Great Britain was announced to the effect that 50 U.S. destroyers needed for escort work would be transferred to Great Britain. In return, America gained 99-year leases on British bases in the North Atlantic, West Indies and Bermuda. September 26, 1940, World War II, the United States imposed a total embargo on all scrap metal shipments to Japan. October 16, 1940, the draft registration of approximately 16 million men began in the United States. October 29, 1940, the Selective Service System Lottery was held in Washington, D.C. November 5, 1940, U.S. presidential election, 1940, Democrat incumbent Franklin D. Roosevelt defeated Republican challenger Wendell Willkie and became the United States' first and only third-term president. November 12, 1940, Case of Hansberry v. Lee, 311 U.S. 32, 1940, decided, allowing a racially restrictive covenant to be lifted. December 17, 1940, President Roosevelt, at his regular press conference, first outlined his plan to send aid to Great Britain that will become known as Lend-Lease. December 29, 1940, Franklin D. Roosevelt, in a fireside chat to the nation, declared that the United States must become the great arsenal of democracy." January 13, 1941, all persons born in Puerto Rico after this day were declared U.S. citizens by birth, through Federal Law 8 U.S.C. § 1402. January 20, 1941, Chief Justice Charles Evans Hughes swore in President Roosevelt for a third term. January 27, 1941, World War II, U.S. Ambassador to Japan Joseph C. Grew passed on to Washington a rumor overheard at a diplomatic reception about a planned surprise attack upon Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. 
February 4, 1941, World War II, the United Service Organization USO was created to entertain American troops. Hearings January 23, 1941, aviator Charles Lindbergh testified before the Congress and recommends that the United States negotiate a neutrality pact with Adolf Hitler. Major legislation April 3, 1939, Reorganization Act of 1939, Pub. L. 76-19, 53 Stat. 561 August 2, 1939, Hatch Act of 1939, "'Hatch Political Activity Act' An Act to Prevent Pernicious Political Activities", ch. 410, 53 Stat. 1147 November 4, 1939, Neutrality Act of 1939, Cash and Carry Act, ch. 2, 54 Stat. 4 June 29, 1940, Alien Registration Act, Smith Act, 3D Cess. ch. 439, 54 Stat. 670 August 22, 1940, Act of August 22, 1940, ch. 686, Pub. L. 76 to 768, 54 Stat. 789, including Investment Company Act of 1940, Investment Advisors Act of 1940. September 16, 1940, Selective Training and Service Act of 1940, Pub. L. 76 to 783. Topic. Party summary. Senate Topic House of Representatives Topic Leadership Topic Senate President John N. Garner, D. President pro tempore Key Pittman. Topic: <inaudible> Majority Democratic leadership. Majority Leader Albin W. Barkley. Majority Whip Sherman Minton. Caucus Secretary Joshua B. Lee. Topic. Minority Republican leadership. Minority Leader Charles McNary. Republican Conference Secretary Frederick Hale. Topic House. Speaker William B. Bankhead until September 15, 1940, died. Sam Rayburn from September 16, 1940. Topic: Majority Democratic leadership. Majority Leader Sam Rayburn until September 16, 1940. John W. McCormick from September 16, 1940. Democratic Whip Patrick J. Boland. Democratic Caucus Chairman John W. McCormick until September 16, 1940. Democratic Campaign Committee Chairman Patrick H. Drury. Topic: Minority Republican leadership. Minority Leader Joseph William Martin Jr. Republican Whip Harry Lane Englebright. Republican Conference Chairman Roy O. Woodruff. Topic: Members. Topic. Senate Senators were popularly elected statewide every two years, with one-third beginning new six-year terms with each Congress. 
Preceding the names in the list below are Senate class numbers, which indicate the cycle of their election. In this Congress, Class I meant their term ended with this Congress, requiring re election in 1940, Class II meant their term began in the last Congress, requiring re election in 1942, and Class III meant their term began in this Congress, requiring re election in 1944. <laughs> House of Representatives The names of members are preceded by their district numbers. Topic: <laughs> Changes in membership. The count below reflects changes from the beginning of this Congress. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Senate. House of Representatives Committees Lists of committees and their party leaders, for members House and Senate of the committees and their assignments, go into the official congressional directory at the bottom of the article and click on the link four links. .In the directory after the pages of Terms of Service, you will see the committees of the Senate, House standing with subcommittees, select and special and joint and after the committee pages, you will see the House, Senate committee assignments in the directory, on the committees section of the House and Senate in the official congressional directory, the committee's members on the first row on the left side show shows the chairman of the committee and on the right side shows the ranking member of the committee. <inaudible> <inaudible> Joint committees Conditions of Indian tribes special. Disposition of useless executive papers Eradication of the Mediterranean fruit fly Forestry The library to investigate phosphate resource of the United States Taxation Tennessee Valley Authority Caucuses Democratic House Democratic Senate Employees Architect of the Capitol, David Lynn Attending Physician of the United States Congress, George Calver Controller General of the United States Vacant, until April 11, 1939 Fred H. Brown, April 11, 1939 to June 19, 1940 Vacant, June 19, 1940 to November 1, 1940 Lindsay C. Warren, starting November 1, 1940 Librarian of Congress, Herbert Putnam until 1939, Archibald McLeish starting 1939 Public Printer of the United States, Augustus E. Topic: <inaudible> Senate Chaplain, Zebarney Thorne Phillips Episcopal. Curator, Data Unknown, Missing Historian, Data Unknown, Missing Parliamentarian, Charles Watkins Secretary for the Majority, Data Unknown, Missing Secretary for the Minority, Data Unknown, Missing Secretary, Edwin A. Halsey Sergeant-at-Arms, Chesley W. Journey <laughs> House of Representatives Chaplain, James Shearer Montgomery Methodist. Clerk, South Trimble of Kentucky Historian, Data Unknown, Missing Parliamentarian, Louis Deschler Postmaster, Finnis E. Scott Reading Clerks, Data Unknown, Missing Sergeant-at-Arms, Kenneth Romney In popular culture It appears in Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. See also United States elections, 1938 elections leading to this Congress 
United States Senate elections, 1938 United States House of Representatives elections, 1938 United States elections, 1940 elections during this Congress, leading to the next Congress United States presidential election, 1940 United States Senate elections, 1940 United States House of Representatives elections, 1940